Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor coming to you today to bring you a message from heaven and from the Bible. Our Lord and Savior has much things to talk to us about through His Word. And today I want to talk to you about using your talents and your gifts for God. In Matthew chapter 25, the Lord speaks about what the kingdom of heaven is like. Now, we all want to know more about what heaven is like, and Jesus gave some great illustrations. One of them is, he said that uh, in this particular uh, chapter, he, there was a man that, that uh, gave his servants some talents. Of course, they were money, and they gave five to one, two to one, and then one to one. The five doubled his, the, the one that had two doubled his, and the one that only had one went and buried his. And when the Lord came back, he was very happy with the first two, but he was very disappointed with the second, the third one. Now, in our situation, God has given all of us gifts and abilities and gifts and talents. And he wants us to use them for the kingdom of heaven. And, and he... For some people, they are very gifted in singing, preaching, speaking, writing. Uh, but other people have gifts, too, that may not be so visible. They have the gift of compassion, the gift of generosity, the gift of helps, the gift of helping other people. And God has given everybody these, these gifts. He's given some people the gift to work with their hands and be able to be, be constructive and make things. He's given other people the ability to, to think and counsel and reason and help people. Regardless of the talent that God has given to you, He wants you to use it. And with like anything else in life, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And that's what happened in this story. The man that had five, he, he increased his to ten and, the, and his master blessed him. The man that had two increased his uh, to four, and God blessed him double that amount. The one that only had one went and hid his. He didn't use it, and his master was very upset. The first two got rewarded, and the third one got uh, punished and left out of the joy of his Lord. Now, at the beginning of the story, the master has gone off into a far country. Our Lord and Savior is illustrating he himself as going off into heaven after his ascension and he's coming back and we'll each give an account for what God has given us in the way that, that uh, he is apportioned to each to us. And it doesn't matter what you do, uh, one gift is not any more valuable than the other. And God is not uh, concerned about the... the uh, influence you have on society and other people. He puts you uh, an umbrella of people uh, around you. It may be your husband, your wife, your children, your, your, your uh, local church. It may be this group of people and God wants you to use your talents within them to be a blessing and bring glory uh, to, to the Heavenly Father. Now I hope you will use your gifts for the Lord. He has great rewards for you in heaven. Uh, the first two, when, when they re, uh, met, met their master again and showed them what they had done, he said, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the, the joy of your Lord. And that's what we need to look forward to. One day, we're going to meet the Lord Jesus Christ face to face. And he's going to say, What did you do with the talents I gave you? And he's going, and, and you might say, well, I've not won a lot of people to Jesus or anybody to Jesus, uh, but there'll be people in heaven that'll be blessed uh, by you. Maybe an offering you gave to a mission, uh, maybe a a service you did at the the local rescue mission or nursing home, visiting someone that was sick, uh, uh, baking uh, uh, something and taking it to a family that had just lost a loved one all these things are recorded in heaven and there'll be people in heaven that can then verify verify to the Lord 
how you use your talents to be a blessing to them. I hope you will will uh, reach down and ask God to reveal to you what your gifts are. Ask the Lord to to uh, uh, give you a mission, give you a purpose, give you something that will please Him. Say, Lord, what are we going to do today? What are you and I going to do today? And be available to the Lord. Sometimes it may be that He wants you to just sit and study and pray. Other times He'll want you to to get up and and get dressed and go and meet the needs of other people. You're special to God. He has called you out of the world. So you are called out of the world to be His representative, to be His ambassadors. Uh, the Bible says we are ambassadors for Christ. Each of you, again, has something to that God has left you as a talent. And He wants you to use that for Him. And I just hope that God will will bless you this week as you use your talents for Him. You can hear many of my sermons on www.sermonstotheworld.blogspot.com They're written, this particular sermon is written, and on that site there will be many others as weeks go by that you will see. Uh, I also send them out by email. If you need to contact me, you can contact me uh, through Pastor Taylor 7 at gmail.com and I will try to to respond to you uh, in in some way but today I want you to know that you're loved by God he is he has blessed you today if you have food to eat you have a roof on your head you have good health or you have enough health to to uh, to, to use for today, you're being blessed. May God bless you and your family, and I hope that you will find a place to worship uh, this week in your local church. And if you're not able to go to a local church, uh, just open the Word of God. Uh, go to, to my site, go to other uh, religious sites, and find a message from God to speak to your heart. May God bless you, and I hope to see you next week.